Machines can now beat the best human minds in the most intellectually challenging games, such as chess. They can also perform tasks that are difficult for adult humans to learn, such as driving cars. Yet autonomous machines have difficulty learning to cooperate, something even young children do. Human cooperation appears easy, but is very difficult to emulate because it relies on cultural norms, deeply rooted instincts, and social mechanisms that express disapproval of non-cooperative behavior. Such common sense mechanisms are not easily built into machines. In fact, the same artificial intelligence algorithms that effectively play chess, checkers, Atari games, and poker often fail to consistently cooperate when cooperation is necessary. Other machine learning algorithms often take hundreds of rounds of experience to learn to cooperate with each other, if they cooperate at all. Can we build machines that cooperate with humans? The way humans cooperate with each other? Building on decades of research in artificial intelligence, we built a new algorithm that learns to cooperate with other machines by simply trying to maximize its own good. We ran experiments that paired the algorithm with people in various social scenarios, including a prisoner's dilemma and a more sophisticated block sharing game. While the algorithm consistently learns to cooperate with another machine, it does not cooperate very well with people. But people didn't cooperate much with each other either. As we all know, humans can cooperate better if they can communicate their intentions through words and body language. Thus, in hopes of creating an algorithm that consistently learns to cooperate with people, we gave our algorithm a way to listen to people. In your face. And to talk to them. Perseus, I trusted you to take the red triangle. All this was done in a game generic manner, so that the algorithm can play in previously unanticipated scenarios. The resulting algorithm achieved our goal. It consistently learns to cooperate with people, as well as people do. And, our results show that two machines make a much better team than two humans or a human and a machine. But the algorithm isn't a blind cooperator. In fact, the algorithm can get pretty angry if people do not behave well. Just like people. Since Alan Turing argued that machines could potentially demonstrate intelligence, AI has been regularly portrayed as a threat to humanity or at least as a severe threat to human jobs. Most attempts to curb this threat have followed the path of hard-coding legal or moral principles into computer code, such as Asimov's Three Laws of Robotics. Our research demonstrates that a new path is possible. Machines, designed to selfishly maximize their payoffs, can and should make an autonomous choice to cooperate with humans across a wide range of situations.